Hi everyone, thanks for watching. I'm Louise from The Dusty Jacket. I am here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina for the Run in the Sun car show. But today's a little rainy, it's a little chilly, so instead of looking at some cars, I think we're gonna look at some books. We are headed to a woman-owned and veteran-owned bookshop that sells new and used books, and it's been in business since May 2022. So hop on in, put on your seatbelt, because we are booking it to Back Again Bookshop. Myrtle Beach, South Carolina boasts 60 miles of uninterrupted beach along with exciting attractions. It is also the self-proclaimed golf capital of the world with more than 100 golf courses. The city's name was chosen from a Name the Town contest held in 1900 and was named after the wax myrtles that used to line the beach. We're here. Let's check it out. Husband and wife Aaron and Kelsey Simon started the store when they noticed the area had no bookstore. Kelsey believes that every community needs a bookshop and a store was born. They, along with the bookshop Cats, Midnight and Caramel, kindly showed me around on this rainy day. So in our bookshop, all of our categories are in separate rooms. So this room right here is our romance room. Come on in. Here in the romance room is where we keep all of our romance authors like Danielle Steele or Nora Roberts. We've got a lot of Robin Carr or Debbie Maycomer. This is where you're gonna find a lot of mass market paperbacks and because most of our books are used, they're gonna be between $3 and $6. So it's a great place to stack up on books if you're really looking for a good romance day. This next room is our science fiction and fantasy room. We put those two categories together because sometimes those authors will write cross genre and so there'll be an author who writes both science fiction and fantasy. And we wanted to keep all those authors here in the same room so you could find them pretty easily. We've got Mercedes Lackey. We've got some Odessit. He's a great science fiction writer. We've got Dragonlance, David Weber. We've got your Tolkien in here, Jim Butcher. Uh, and we've got some fun things just to look at, sit on the couch, take a peek at books. This is our Western room. In here, we're gonna see a lot of Johnstone, Louis L'Amour, but we're really lucky because we've also got a lot of more obscure Western authors and we've even got large print Westerns, which is really great. We sell a ton of these. Grand Strand also has a bunch of local authors who are really active in the community. Author Wendy Reed and um, Garrett Overeem and uh, Tyler Edwards. Here at the bookshop, we also carry new books, uh, contemporary bestsellers, um, some more regional authors who people really like to come and get. Uh, they're right up here at the front when you walk in right now, but we're probably actually going to move these bookshelves because we just put them up and we're finding it's a little bit hard to see people as they walk in the door. We really want to be able to greet you when you walk in. So I'm not positive where these are going to move to, but soon we're going to be moving those. Make sure we continue to have this big open space and so we can have events. We have a small selection of audiobooks, some puzzles, some crafting books as well that we hope to grow as we continue to be here at the bookshop. So the biggest section in the bookshop is our general fiction. Uh, it is alphabetized by author last name and then we also in each author, we alphabetize it by title. We don't go by series order just so it's easier to find what you're looking for on your list. So in Baldacci, we would go, you know, C to F to L, so it's all alphabetized. It's the biggest section of the bookshop and it's where we sell the most books. So we've got your Coben, lots and lots of Cussler. We've got DeMille and Elizabeth George is gonna be in here. It wraps around and then it kind of just goes back. So we have all this great wall space. We have a huge selection of James Patterson. I put the Women's Murder Club first because it's a number series. And then again, it's just alphabetized by title. So the books are really easy to find. We have a small large print section right now, but it's actually growing so fast. We're about to replace this short bookshelf with a tall bookshelf here in a couple of days. And we're just gonna continue to grow that large print section so we can make sure that everybody has access to reading. Here on the inside of the general fiction, we've got a few sections. We've got classics and poetry here. And then we have three bays of mysteries. And these are gonna be your really standard mysteries, just your, these are mean salts, not suspense thrillers. We put those out with general fiction. And then right next to mysteries, we actually have three bays of young adult. Young adult is such a popular genre and it's growing like crazy. In fact, we want to have more books than we've got right now. We want to grow by about six to 10,000 more books. And so let me show you what we're doing to make sure that we have a chance to do that. We're building more bookshelves. We've built every single bookshelf here in-house. 
Hey, welcome. So uh, this is uh, where, how we build the bookshelves. I, I built most of the bookshelves. I'm trying to get a little bit of help, and we're starting to build a lot more bookshelves. This is where we're going next. Uh, we'll we'll finish these up. These need to be stained. Uh, put a little bit of more work on them, etc. And then we'll move them out there. We're entering my favorite room in the bookshop. This is the kids' room. We have board books. We've got hardcover picture books. We've got paperback books. Our juvenile fiction is alphabetized by author and we have lots and I want to get more in here. And then we have our homeschool uh, collection of books that you can use to supplement your curriculum. Just come use homeschool curriculum, but it's really awesome. One of my favorite things about the kids room is that we also have blocks for your kids to play with. This play kitchen is so popular. We've got food and dishes and we always have markers and papers so your kid can be drawing and hanging out here at the bookshop while you're shopping. Something that's unique about our nonfiction is I do a decimal it, which is a little bit awkward until you get used to it. But I do a couple of things to help you. I have a chart on the wall and then I put some broad category cards underneath it. Uh, but with Dewey Decimal Books, sometimes you're gonna find something where you don't expect it. So you can always come and ask me, I know where everything is. In here, we've got both inspirational fiction, which some people would also call Christian fiction, and then we also have our religious literature. We've got Bibles, concordances, devotionals, and then all of our religious literature is alphabetized by author. Like any community independent bookstore, we do lots of events. And one of our favorite events is our monthly book club. We meet the fourth Friday of every single month and we have our books picked out for the whole year so you can always pick them out. We have two empty spots right now because we're waiting for these books to come out. In May, it'll be the fourth book in the Myrtle Beach Mystery Series. It comes out May 7. And then in July, we're gonna be hosting T.I. Lowe's new book, Indigo Isle. She's one of our favorite local authors. Here at the Beach, puzzles are a huge seller. We always carry 500 piece puzzles, 1,000 piece puzzles. They're changing all of the time. Uh, we have kind of your last minute grabs here at the front desk. We've got some great bath soaks. My sister-in-law actually makes those on our homestead in North Carolina. And then some great activities for the kids when you're here at the beach and you need something to do. We've got water wow, some sticker things, some puzzles to go, flashcards, lots of activities. Sometimes you come to the bookshop and you just don't find the book you're looking for. That's okay. We have lots of other things you can do to support the bookshop. We have our mugs and our classic tote bags. These are huge sellers. You can use them to carry your books around and show your love of the bookshop. We have two cats at the bookshop. This one's Carmel. These are one of the most popular things about the bookshop. People come in just to say hi to the cats. We call them the community cats. These cats are even on the shop cats app. So when you come visit them, you can take a picture, post it on the Shop Cats app. They get uh, points and scritches. They're really, really friendly and they love to meet people and be petted. Uh, so even though we have almost 15,000 books, we might not have the book you are looking for today, but you can always go to our website. Uh, we partner with bookshop.org and you can order anything from them. It goes directly to your house and then we get a portion of the proceeds, which helps support the bookshop. Uh, one of the things we do to try to help him encourage folks to give us their books is we give everybody 20% off of whatever they're buying that day. Whether you bring in one book and buy a hundred, we'll give you 20% off of a hundred books, or you bring in a hundred books and buy one, we'll give you 20% off of one book. So we love it when people bring us their books. Uh, we don't, we don't pick through them. We take them all. We take everything. We take all the books. We just ask people to box them up, bag them up, bring them in, and we'd be happy to take them. Thank you for visiting us today. We're so grateful that you came to the bookshop. We want to see you and come back again. If you want to learn more information about the bookshop, you just go to our website, backagainbookshop.com, and you can know about all of our events, all of our activities, our author signings, and everything else you need to know. Every community does need a bookshop, and Myrtle Beach is lucky to have Back Again Bookshop. Make sure to stop by and say hi and save some pets for Caramel and Midnight too. Well, that's it. We'll include a link to Back Again Bookshop's website in the comment section should you wish to find out more information. And if you enjoyed this video, please click on the like and subscribe buttons and make sure to click on the bell so that you're notified when videos just like this one becomes available. Again, thanks for watching and I look forward to bringing back some old titles so that you can make new memories because anytime is a good time to dust off a new favorite. Keep reading. Mm -hmm.